Dear students, in this unit, we will study about the role of prokaryotes in ecological interactions and chemical cyclings. As we all know that uh, different chemical cycles, including carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, sulfur cycle, these cycles are very important. They are actually the recycling of chemical elements between living and non-living components of ecosystems. Prokaryotes have very important role in the recycling of all these elements. We have different types of prokaryotes which have different roles in the recycling of these chemicals. Like we have chemoheterotrophic prokaryotes which actually function as decomposers. They break down the dead organism and waste products and they liberate, they free certain chemicals which are trapped in their bodies. Then these prokaryotes, they can help increase the availability of those elements including nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for the plant growths. So when they release and they make available these elements to the plants, plants utilize them to grow and synthesize different products including foods. Now prokaryotes on the other hand can also immobilize or decrease the availability of nutrients. There are certain interactions, ecological interactions in which these prokaryotes are actively involved. For example, symbiosis. Symbiosis is actually a relationship between two organisms in which they live in a close proximity and they share certain things and there are certain uh, conditions in which they benefit each other or they could harm each other. So these symbiotic relationships, uh, prokaryotes, they play a very important role in these symbiotic relationships. They normally have these kind of relationship with larger organisms. For example, we talk about mutualism. Mutualism is actually a symbiotic relationship between a prokaryote and other organism in which prokaryotes helps that larger organism in some way and that larger organisms also in return helps those prokaryotes in some way or the other. So this is a kind of relationship in which both gets benefits. But when we talk about commensalism, commensalism is a kind of symbiotic relationship in which one, for example, prokaryote provide useful nutrients or useful support to the larger organisms and in return, larger organisms does not provide any assistance to the prokaryotes. So this kind of commensalism is like one organism gets benefits from the other organism without harming it. Then we have the worst kind of relationship called parasitism. Parasitism is actually a kind of symbiotic relationship in which one organism gets benefit while the other organism is harmed or gets troubled in. So the benefits one organism is getting is at the cost of the other organism. So normally parasites which prokaryotes, prokaryotic parasites, they are involved in this kind of parasitism. Pathogens, human pathogens, they are also kind of parasites. They feed on human body. In return, they cause different diseases and they harm human bodies. Now, the ecological communities of hydrothermal vents deep down in the oceans, they depend on these chemoautotrophic bacteria for their energy. So these prokaryotes, they are in a kind of mutualism, symbiotic relationship. 